Design a Turing machine to compute one's complement. We know what is one's complement. So if we place a binary string, say for example 1011 as input, then we should get the output as 0100. So whenever we have a 1, it has to be replaced with 0. If we have a 0, it has to be replaced with 1 and this should continue till the end, till the end. That is what is the logic we are going to follow in designing this Turing machine. So initially we are in one state, say Q0. So from this state, when you have a 1, you replace that with 0, move towards right. If you have a 0, replace that with 1, move towards right. So when you have a 1, you replace that with 0 and move towards right hand side. When you have a 0, you replace that with 1 and move towards right hand side. If you have a 1, replace that with 0, another 0, you replace, I am sorry, 1, replace that with 0. Now this has to be continued until blank comes. Once blank comes, we have converted all string into its ones complement. So, when a blank comes, replace that with blank and halt. So, this is QF. What will be the transition table? States Q0, QF, tape symbols 0, 1 and blank. So, when you have Q0 with 0, you remain in the same state, change to 1 and move towards R. Same thing for Q1, Q0 with 1, remain in the same state, 1 change to 0, move towards right. When a blank comes, go to the final state, change it to blank and halt. So these are the three transitions we have and this is going to be our transition table.